Hey everyone, Leo with Dreaming Tree and welcome to the assembly video for our candy card from our fashionable ladies bundle. I have all of my pieces cut out as should you. And we're gonna start off by assembling the base. And it's just a white piece of cardstock. As you can see here, I've got the solid score line version already folded in half. And inside we have this little piece that's gonna go in. This is where you're gonna write your little message, your sentiment, your stamp, uh, your print to cut, your single line font, whatever it is you want to add to the card for whatever occasion this is for. I'm sure this can be adapted for many. And this is gonna go right inside with a even border all the way around. You should see a little bit of white on all four sides. Get that nice and centered. Press that down into place, give it a few moments. And then we can close it up. Here is the front. And the main part of our card is made up of these two layers. Okay, what I would like to do is actually glue them together uh, like this before we put it on the card. Okay, and if it's helpful, I think what you can do is separate this into two steps. And I think that's what I'm gonna do just to make sure that I get everything lined up accurately. And I'm gonna start with the bottom. We'll kind of use this as an anchor. So I'm gonna apply the glue just to like the bottom third of this section, because it's kind of wobbly, might be hard to kind of hold. I'm gonna go all the way up to about there and about there. If you have too much glue there, just hit it with your finger a bit, thin it out. And let's get this bottom part lined up first. That way you can let this thing swing without glue getting all over the place and get that properly aligned. And if it helps, just pick it up and you can then use your fingers to kind of nudge things a little bit. And now we've got that bottom part perfectly lined up, which also means that when we apply glue to the top section, we can almost just let it drop and it'll fall right where it needs to. Okay, and you can see how, how dangly this thing is. Perfect to get that other piece out of the way, give us plenty of room to apply our glue to the rest of this piece. I can leave that on my table. Go nice and easy there. Get all these little palm trees like that. Nice and easy. Don't need a lot of glue here. Just enough and try to work some of that glue out to the very tips of our little palm trees. Okay, and as I mentioned, it should just kind of fall into place. Might need to move it around just a tad, especially these little areas that are almost free floating. Even though they're connected, they still kind of have a mind of their own. So. Just move it around until you've got it all perfectly lined up. And as you can see, I did do a little bit of inking on the sun as well as around the perimeter of this piece. And I'll say that that looks pretty good. Okay, if you have a little bit of that yellow layer showing through, that's okay, not the end of the world. Okay, so that looks great. Now we're gonna put that on the front of the car. This is actually gonna be flush all the way around so that we just have the white in the background. You're not gonna see any white on any of the corners or around any of the edges, I should say. Okay, so let's get our glue going on the rest of this piece. Now this is a little more sturdy, so we should be able to just get our glue on this whole thing in one fell swoop. Okay, and if you have any little areas that have a little too much glue, just hit it with your finger, thin it out, Make sure that you've got it nice and lined up with the front. It should be flush with, I'd focus on making sure that this edge is flush because then the rest of it will just naturally fall into place. I'll give that a little scoot and press that into place just like that. Okay, look at that kind of creating the little background for our scene. The rest of this element, or the rest of this card, the card face, is actually gonna be foam squared to give this thing, uh, you know, that added dimension that we love to see in our cards, but that looks fantastic. All right, that being said, let's, uh, let's get these elements kind of separated somewhat. <clears throat> our main layer is gonna be this, this color here, in our case, it's brown sugar. So we're gonna start with that layer. And on top of that layer is going to be our, I believe it's shrimp. 
This is our shrimp layer, I think. Let me see here. Is that shrimp? Yeah, that's shrimp, okay. Okay, so we're gonna start off with this brown sugar piece here. And as you can see, I strategically inked just this bottom section here because everything else is gonna be sitting on top of it. So no sense in inking that entire brown sugar piece because it's gonna be covered up. It's kind of a waste of time, unless of course you wanna practice and that's fine. You can use that as kind of a practice piece. But let's grab this color here and we'll get that glued down onto the brown sugar piece. There's a lot of little details here, so you might have to work expeditiously and do your best to line that up with the previous shadow layer as accurately as you can. Okay, make sure everything's making good contact. And on this piece here, I inked just the hands and the legs. Okay, so we've got that in place. Next, we're gonna grab this piece so it's essentially the same thing, but without the hand, without the legs. And with this one, I inked just the bottom portion of the dress. Okay, get your glue going there. Just like that. And just as we did before, just make sure that you line this up with the previous shadow layer so that all of those elements match up as accurately as possible. Just like that, perfect. This one's gonna go together real quick. Next, I'm gonna grab the, pretty much the only pattern that we have on here. So this is what really decides what she's, uh, what she's gonna be wearing today as far as her outfit goes. And we've got a, kind of like a teal or uh, a turquoise top to go along with it. That's gonna go right on top of the dress here. Again, making sure that you've got everything lined up as accurately as you can. Right there, perfect. Okay, got that. Next, we're gonna take and we're gonna glue down this black piece. Okay, this black piece is, you can see where her little belt is. You wanna match that up with the belt, the scarf, her hair the hat. Let's get that glued into place. Could probably skim through this whole video and like fast forward and totally understand how to do it. Might not even need the video, I think, but that's okay. I like hanging out with you guys. All right, so we'll get that in place. Make sure it's lined up. I'm kind of using my fingers to kind of feel the edges of everything to make sure it's sitting properly. There we go. Okay, next, we can take and put this layer on. Okay, let me take a look and make sure I'm doing that right. Yep. Okay, so this, this brown sugar layer is gonna go up just above the black right here. Should fit like a little puzzle right into place. Perfect. Okay, next. We can put the dress on, and you can see where that goes. You can see kind of the contour of her bust there. Okay. Okay, so we've got the top part of her outfit in place. Next, we're gonna grab this piece that is part of her face and also part of her hat. And throw a little bit of glue on there, you don't need a ton. Okay, and we're gonna match that up with this piece here, the black part of the hat. So just line that up as accurately as you can. Just like that, make sure it's nice and centered. Shouldn't really see any black showing on any side as far as the hat goes. Just like that, perfect. Okay, now while we, have, uh, while we have it in this status, I guess you could say, we're gonna grab the lips, which is a very small little piece. So I'm gonna grab, grab some tweezers, or if you have a pick-me-up tool, uh, I'm actually just gonna take and dip this into a little bit of glue with my pick-me-up tool and just kind of rub it off so it's nice and thin. And you'll notice that there's a series of little markers there 
to help you with the positioning of her lips. Okay, and you want, make sure you have them right side up, just like that. Okay, so there's the lips. And well, you know, we gotta put the little band around the hat, and that's this piece here. Kind of save the small pieces to do them all somewhat together. Nice and easy on the glue with this piece. It's very tiny. Thin that out if you happen to get a little too much glue on it. And the curved part is gonna to be towards facing the top. The flat part towards the bottom, just pop it right in there. Should fit like a little puzzle piece, flush up against this shrimp color, just like that. Wonderful, okay, now uh, we do have, let's see, let's get the shoes in place. Okay, and I, again, I'm gonna use my pick-me-up tool for this. And let's see, which one is this? Uh, each shoe is kind of completely different looking, so you can't really get it wrong. If you're unsure of where it goes, maybe just superimpose it on top of where you think it goes without any glue just to make sure that you do have it in the right spot before you try to glue it down and then all of a sudden you realize, oh no, that's not the right one. And you know, and then she, uh, she's got her shoes on the wrong feet. You know, maybe, uh, maybe she just left a bar or something and something happened. She's a little goofed up, but we're gonna make sure we keep her shoes on the right feet. Okay, I'll grab her other one. And get that on there. Line it up with the heel first. I'd use that as kind of a, a focal point to make sure that you've got it lined up correctly. There we go, perfect. All right, and what's left here? <clears throat> uh, we do have, she has a little, oh, where is it? Okay, and we do have two little elements that are gonna go on the scarf. Okay, and you can see that there are a series of little score marks to help you with the placement. And the score marks are gonna go above the element. So this one here, this one's a little bit, let me see if they're about the same size. Well, they are kind of the same size. Uh, one of them is a little bit thicker on one end. Okay, so that one is actually gonna go on the left-hand side, it's gonna go right there. So let's do that, let's get that in place. Nice thin little ball of glue, you don't need a lot. It's gonna go underneath the score marks. And as I mentioned, the left side is a little bit thicker than the right. So that's how you know which one's which. And they're both kind of angled downward. You should be able to take a look at the photo and sort of figure it out. And again, if you're not 100% sure, position it where you think it goes before putting glue on it just to be sure. Okay, so that's what you want that to look like. Next, we have two layers for the hat since we're gonna be foam squaring that or pop dotting it. Okay, so I'm gonna take and glue one layer to the other. I inked just one of the layers because there's no sense in inking both since one's gonna be completely hidden anyway. Okay, make sure you get that glue all the way out to the very edge. There we go. Pop that on there. This is gonna be foam squared. But before we do that, let's put the other arm together that's holding her little clutch. And we'll throw some glue on the shrimp color here. That's gonna go right on top of the black. You wanna just line that up and match it up with the shadow portion. Just like that. There we go. And then we have a little accent piece that's gonna go on her little purse. Throw a little bit of glue on that. It's gonna be flush with the top of the handbag right in the center. Just make sure you line that up as accurately as you can. There we go, just like that. And we do have a little flower. It's gonna go right on the corner of that. And it's okay if it's kinda of hanging off a little bit. And if you want, you can even take it and just kind of swirl it in your fingers, between your fingers, just to give it a little bit of dimension. 
and of course the center of it is a perfect little spot to add a little pearl or rhinestone. I'm just putting one little dab of glue, one little dot right on the back of the flower. And I'll pop it right on the corner of her bag, just like that. Just to give it a nice little feminine touch. There we go. Okay, so again, this is gonna be foam squared. So is that. And this is a little bracelet that's gonna go around the same hand that we were just working on. And I do have one other bracelet that I need to put up there, which I think I might have lost. <laughs> so we'll figure that out here in a second. I gotta take a look, see if I can find it. But that's gonna go right there, just like that. Okay, so there's the other hand. Okay, so I had no idea where her little bracelet went, so I had to recut it. Probably just flew off, such a tiny little piece, so be careful. And we'll get that in place, and then we're almost done here with Miss Candy. You put the bracelet on, there's a round part and kind of a, a part that's a little bit flattened or kind of curving in. You want the round part facing down, okay? So there's that. And now we've got these two elements that are gonna get pop dotted. So let's grab the card base and get this in place. You'll notice that on the bottom left and right corner of the card, you have a series of little score marks. That's where we're gonna place the corners of this uh, brown sugar section. And then the rest of it's just gonna kind of fall into place. And you can see how all that kind of comes together and looks quite marvelous. All right, so we start by putting some foam squares on this piece. I'm going to kind of work my way from the outside in. That was probably a little bit too close for comfort, but that's okay. You don't have to put them all the way towards the edge. The idea is to try to hide these as much as possible so it just seems like it's kind of free floating there. And of course, you can always glue this down flat. You don't have to use foam squares if you don't want. Um, let me see, I'm gonna flip this over and do my little push test and see if it's kind of caving in in any of these areas. And this little spot right here, maybe could use one there and I'm gonna put one here for good measure. So that should probably be plenty. Okay, and We'll peel these off, get this part in place, and then we just have two more pieces that go on top for some added dimension, very simple. And we just have an envelope to put together because we always include a coordinating envelope. That's kind of what I think is one of the th many things that sets us apart from anyone else out there. Okay, so again, Use the little guides on the bottom left and bottom right hand corner. Make sure it's nice and straight. And then you can just drop that in there. Okay, and press down in the spots that contain the foam squares. And there you have it, beautiful. Let's take the hat, we'll flip that over. And I think I'm just gonna kind of go heavier with the foam squares in the center since there's not really much room to put any on the outside. And that's gonna go like this. Just kind of cover up her eyes, make her mysterious. Beautiful, look at that. Yeah, she's classy looking. All right. And then finally, we've got the handbag. I'll put one on the handbag. And I'm gonna put, the cool thing about these, if you are unaware, is you can actually I don't have my main scissors here, but these will work. You can actually trim these with some scissors too. Just cut them into whatever size you need. I'm gonna split one in half and then also split it into a quarter as well because that will fit perfectly right there on the arm. And then we can even bring it down and put one on the hand. And I think the rest of it, it's pretty thin, not a lot of mass there, I think it will Hold it just fine. And we'll peel the backing off of that, and then take a look at take a look at this guy here. You'll notice that there's a series of little score marks there. Okay, and I'm going to guess that the score marks are for the top of the purse, and I would be correct. And 
we want to see a little bit of the blue dress coming up, showing through on the right hand side here. Obviously, the chest should be visible. And that is that. Okay. So that's, that's wonderful. That is awesome looking card. Very pretty, very feminine. And you can even actually great little area to even put a caption there uh, if you wanted to do that. So anyway, take a look at the envelope. Now I have it here and I pre-folded everything. We have this little panel that's going to go inside to give our little palm tree a nice two toned look. So grab your glue. We're going to be putting glue on this entire flap. So we'll start here and try to, once we get there, I'm going to do the perimeter first, but when we get to the actual details on the palm tree, let's try to get a little bit of glue on each of these little sections here, just to make sure that they don't get ripped up. <clears throat> and we'll take this piece and I've got my texture side out. I'm going to pop it in and push it up against the fold, making sure that it's centered kind of pushing towards it and down at the same time, just gently, and then make sure it's centered and then take this and bring it down and press down. And that should line up perfectly. And just hold that down for a moment, especially right here at the crease. Okay. And as I mentioned earlier, we have one more little element that we can glue down right here to give the impression of the sun behind the palm tree. Very cool little envelope. It's going to go right there. I did also ink that with a little bit of orange just to kind of make it look a little more tropical. Okay. I'm just pushing down there and there you have it. And then we'll take these two flaps, bring them in and apply your glue along the very inside of these two sections of the flap. Same thing here. And then take the bottom, flip it up, press down. And there we go. Keep holding that down until everything sets. Now, if you want, you can add a little rhinestone or a pearl in the center of the flower, obviously. And then you can add a little button to the purse as well, whether it be a small rhinestone or a pearl, whatever you want to do to help that coordinate with the rest of her getup. I think would be appropriate. So that's going to be it. Look at that beautiful card. So anyway, that's it. Hope you enjoyed the process. If you did, please take a moment and visit us on YouTube. Hit that subscribe button. Also hit that little bell. So you get notifications anytime we release a new product, whether it be paid or free. And if you make the lovely candy or the other two ladies from our fashionable ladies bundle, I'd love to see it. And so would the rest of our community. So head over to your Facebook and do a search for dreaming tree group, or you can type in this little URL that you see here at the bottom of your screen for faster access. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the card. And as always, I look forward to crafting with you again. Hey, thanks for crafting along with me. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did check out some of our other videos and also please consider hitting that subscribe button. And don't forget to visit our site and check out our free SVG section where we have over 140 free SVG files complete with assembly videos. I look forward to crafting with you soon.